you recognize that the human experience is complex. Why do we do the things that we do? What makes some people successful while others are not? How do we make sense of the lives of ourselves and those around us? Well, today we are answering some of those questions and so much more. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Welcome to the Mental Health in Black and White channel, where we take complex mental health issues and break them down into bite-sized pieces. I am your host, Zen the Zebra. If you are like me, you have an inquisitive mind. Well, in today's episode, we are uncovering 10 interesting facts about human behavior and we aren't holding anything back. Trust me, you are destined to be inspired. But before we get started, I have a quick question for you. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? Here are the benefits of joining our mental health family. You'll receive the latest insights on mental health topics, gain access to exclusive content, and become part of a supportive mental health community. We hope to have you join us soon. Now let's get started. Interesting fact number one, human behavior develops from mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are specialized cells in the brain that fire both when we perform an action and when we observe someone else performing the same action. Discovered in the 1990s, these neurons are found in the premotor cortex and other parts of the brain involved in movement and perception. This mirroring mechanism allows us to understand and mimic the actions of others, which is essential for learning new skills through imitation. For example, when we watch someone grasp a cup, our mirror neurons activate in a way that reflects our own experience of grasping a cup, thereby creating a neural basis for understanding the observed action. Beyond physical actions, mirror neurons also play a pivotal role in empathy and social interaction. They help us grasp the emotions and intentions behind other people's actions, facilitating deeper social connections and communication. When we see someone smiling or crying, our mirror neurons respond as if we were experiencing those emotions ourselves. This neural response underlines our ability to empathize with others, fostering compassion and social bonding. Understanding the function of mirror neurons highlights the profound interconnectedness of human experiences and underscores the importance of empathy in our daily interactions. Interesting fact number two, individuals are negatively affected by cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is a psychological phenomenon where individuals experience discomfort or tension when they hold two or more contradictory beliefs, values, or attitudes or when their behavior conflicts with their beliefs. This state of discomfort motivates individuals to reduce the dissonance and achieve consistency, often by altering their beliefs or attitudes to align more closely with their actions and vice versa. This concept, introduced by psychologist Leon Festinger in 1957, has profound implications for understanding human behavior and decision making. For example, consider a person who values healthy living but smokes cigarettes. The conflict between the belief in maintaining health and the behavior of smoking creates the cognitive dissonance. To reduce this discomfort, the person might change their behavior by quitting smoking or alter their belief by rationalizing that smoking helps them manage stress, which they perceive as a health benefit. Cognitive dissonance can also manifest in consumer behavior. If someone purchased an expensive product but later doubts its worth, they may convince themselves of the product's high quality to justify their expenditure. This mental adjustment helps maintain internal consistency and reduces psychological discomfort. Understanding cognitive dissonance 
provides valuable insights into why people sometimes act against their best interest or hold seemingly irrational beliefs. Interesting fact number three, human beings are influenced by the bystander effect. The bystander effect is a social psychological phenomena where individuals are less likely to offer help in an emergency situation when there are other people present. As the number of bystanders increases, each person's sense of personal responsibility diminishes, leading to a diffusion of responsibility. This means that individuals assume someone else will intervene, resulting in a lower likelihood of anyone taking action. This effect was famously demonstrated in the case of Kitty Genovese in 1964, where multiple witnesses did not call for help during her assault, believing others would do so. Understanding the bystander effect highlights the importance of individual accountability and awareness in emergency situations to ensure timely assistance. And then of course there's confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is a cognitive bias where individuals favor information that supports their pre-existing beliefs or values, often disregarding or minimizing evidence that contradicts their views. This tendency leads people to secretly gather, interpret, and recall information in a way that reinforces their existing opinions. For instance, someone who believes a particular diet is the healthiest might focus on studies and articles that support this belief while ignoring research that suggests otherwise. This bias can manifest in various aspects of life, including politics, health, and social issues, creating a skewed perception of reality. The impact of confirmation bias extends beyond individual beliefs, influencing group dynamics and decision-making processes. In social and professional settings, this bias can lead to groupthink, where the desire for consensus overrides the consideration of alternative perspectives. For example, in a corporate environment, a team might collectively ignore potential flaws in a project plan if the initial proposal aligns with their expectations, potentially leading to negative outcomes. Overcoming confirmation bias requires conscious effort, such as actively seeking out diverse viewpoints, engaging in critical thinking, and being open to revising one's beliefs in light of new evidence. This awareness and willingness to challenge one's assumptions are crucial for fostering more accurate understanding and effective decision-making. And then of course, there is the halo effect. The halo effect is a cognitive bias where our overall impression of a person often based on a single characteristic such as attractiveness or likability, influences how we perceive their other traits and behaviors. For example, if we find someone physically attractive, we are more likely to also perceive them as intelligent, kind, and competent, regardless of whether they actually possess these qualities. The bias can affect various aspects of life, including hiring decisions, academic evaluations, and personal relationships, leading us to form skewed perceptions based on initial impressions rather than objective assessments of a person's full range of attributes. The spotlight effect is next. The spotlight effect is a cognitive bias where we overestimate how much others notice and remember about us, making us feel like we're under constant scrutiny. This bias causes us to believe that our actions, appearance, and mistakes are more prominent to others than they truly are. For example, if we spill a drink at a party, we might think everyone saw and will remember it, when in reality, most people either didn't notice or quickly forgot. Understanding the spotlight effect can help alleviate unnecessary self-consciousness and reduce social anxiety, as it reminds us that others are often more focused on themselves than on us. The sunk cost fallacy is next. The sunk cost fallacy occurs when individuals persist in investing time, money, or resources into a decision because of their previous investments, even when new evidence indicates that continuing is no longer 
beneficial. This fallacy stems from the desire to avoid acknowledging past investments as wasted and to justify ongoing expenditure based on what has already been committed. For instance, if you've spent a significant amount of money on a non-refundable vacation package that has turned out to be unpleasant, you might feel compelled to continue the trip to avoid feeling that your money was wasted, despite the fact that leaving early could save you from further discomfort. Recognizing this fallacy can help you make more rational decisions by focusing on future costs and benefits rather than past investments. And now we have the Zygarnik effect. The Zygarnik effect highlights the psychological tendency to remember and focus on tasks that are incomplete and interrupted more vividly than those that are finished. This effect was first observed by psychologist Bluma Zygarnik, who found that people tend to recall uncompleted tasks more clearly because their mind perceives them as unresolved or requiring closure. This lingering awareness can create a mental itch, prompting individuals to return to the unfinished tasks to achieve a sense of completion. For instance, if you start a project and get interrupted before finishing, the project will often occupy your thoughts more persistently until it's completed, driving you to cross it off of your list. This effect can be strategically utilized to enhance productivity and motivation. By breaking down larger projects into smaller, manageable tasks and leaving some intentionality incomplete, you can leverage the Zygarnik effect to keep these tasks fresh in your mind and maintain momentum. Additionally, understanding this phenomenon can help in managing procrastination, as being aware of how unfinished tasks affect your focus may encourage you to tackle them promptly to alleviate the cognitive burden they impose. And now we have the placebo effect. The placebo effect demonstrates how the mere belief and the effectiveness of a treatment can result in genuine measurable improvements in health, despite the treatment being inactive or devoid of therapeutic properties. This phenomenon highlights the profound impact that perception and expectation can have on human behavior and physiological responses. For example, patients receiving a placebo may experience symptom relief simply because they believe they are receiving a real treatment. This effect underscores the power of the mind in influencing physical health and emphasizes how psychological factors such as hope and belief can play a crucial role in the healing process, showcasing the complex interplay between mental and physical well-being. And last, but certainly not least, we have social loafing. Social loafing occurs when individuals reduce their effort in a group setting compared to when they work independently. This phenomena arises from a perception that personal contributions are less critical to the group's success and that individual efforts are less noticeable. In a team environment, the diffusion of responsibility leads members to rely on others to carry the workload, which can result in decreased motivation and productivity. For example, in group projects, some members may contribute less, assuming that their lack of effort will be offset by the work of others, thereby reducing the overall effectiveness of the team. Moreover, social loafing can undermine group cohesion and performance, as the unequal distribution of effect often creates friction among team members and hampers collective achievements. This dynamic is particularly evident in settings where individual contributions are not easily identifiable or measurable, such as large-scale collaborative projects or group activities. To mitigate social loafing, it is essential to establish clear individual rules, set specific goals, and create mechanisms for accountability, ensuring that each member's contributions are recognized and valued, which can enhance overall group performance and motivation. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Mental Health in Black and White channel. We hope you found the insights valuable. Don't forget to download your copy of our mental health workbook from the description below to further support your journey. This is Zen the Zebra signing off.
Take care and stay well.